What up guys, it's Jude. The token to the project I'm going to talk about today was listed on Gate.io today, 24th of March. And before the listing, the project has gathered over 350,000 followers across different social media. Its community round sold out in minutes across 10 launch paths and it has attracted the interest of over 24 top cryptocurrency investors who have invested in this project. Now, I won't be surprised if this token draws 50x in the coming months and this project has NFTs that could earn you up to 56% interest per month. The project is called Wizard Year. It is a GameFi project, that is, it is bringing gaming and finance to the metaverse. Players can end by playing the game and investors can end by buying the NFT or holding the token. So it is a metaverse play to end game with magic reward that will greatly appeal to the 3 billion gamers worldwide as well as investors. And you too can become a part of this. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the project. What is it about? The tokenomics, the team, the light paper, the roadmap, and so on. Then two, the NFT. Why I really like the NFT that makes money for people, how to purchase the NFT, and earn over 56% return um, from it monthly. I will be buying the NFT in this video as well. And the token, where you can buy it, how to stick it, and earn more of the token from that. If you're ready, Let's get to it. Wizardier is a triple quality online play to earn turn based battler game with role playing game elements. Now, I don't want to get too techy in this video, so I will break this down. In Wizardier, you can play against another player. We call this PvP, or you can play against the environment. We call this PVE. To play, you will have three avatar NFTs, which are called wizards. Your opponents will also have three um, wizards. The wizards have different abilities. They can cast these abilities to deplete the opponent's energy and win the battle. Winning the game requires clever positioning and effective use of the abilities. Each battle consists of rounds, and each round consists of sequence of turn. That is, when I play, I will wait for my opponent to play. For each round, all wizards present in the arena will make one action for each turn. A wizard falls either when all its abilities are depleted or from the effect of the opponent's ability. If the three wizard of my opponent falls, then I have won the battle. I will receive rewards which can be consumable or equipment or resources, skill mastery and legacy points. My opponent will receive some compensation. The rewards depend on the game mode and there are five of these. We have the challenger fight, the dual fight, the weekly challenge series, the arena tournaments, the final destruction which it's a worldwide tournament. Guys, I can actually wait to start playing this game when it is out. Now let's look at the official website, which is wizardia.io. So if you go to the website and scroll down, you see um, this is the third NFT sale. I'll come back to the NFT when I start talking about, when I start talking about the NFT. You can see that this coin um, has grown, the community has grown over 350,000 um, community members across the social media, right? I'm, I'm taking out the email anyway. And if you go down, you can see it's a P2V or P2E. I've actually explained this. You can play against another player. You can play against the environment. I'll come back to this one. And it has been, the spotlight has been shown on this from different um, blockchain-based media. You have Cointelegraph, Dapparadar, Investing.com, and um, Crypto coin and so on. So these are the team. With their team consists of over 30 experts in business, blockchain, game development, design, marketing, community building, and support. My Douglas is the CEO of Wizardia. He's a serial entrepreneur. 
He's also a cryptocurrency enthusiast and a seasonal gamer. So that is him here. You can actually click on any of these to read more about their bio or check them out on LinkedIn. So the team is actually quite qualified to do this. So if you go down here, you see the trusted investors. There are over 24 of them. If you click here, it will show you more. This is actually um, really, you can say trust swap here, engine starter to design investors in this project. Let's look at the roadmap. This has been accomplished. You can, you can see the visual assets. The game design team, tokenomics, and community of over 2K is achieved. Even more than this. Then, for the um, fourth quarter of 2021, web design was done. Arena, Genesis, NFT, private sale. Um, seed run, close, launch pad onboarding, 20K community was done. For this first quarter, which is where we are still and now, this launch pad was done today. So it's done already. So waiting for the audits, the Arena Genesis NFT public stay is on and the community have actually grown to over 350,000 um, um, persons. For the second quarter, you're looking at the Battle Arena game, the tournament NFT sale and the Wizard NFT sale. So there's a, different, there's a difference between the Arena Genesis NFT, which I will talk about, and the Wizard um, NFT sale. So you can look at the rest of the road map. And these are some frequently asked questions. So the next thing I will talk about is the, if you click here, you will go to the light paper. I like how they actually position their light paper. You can get a lot of information from this light paper, what it's about, the gameplay, the play to end, the NFT, the token, and the rest of this. So let's talk about the NFT. So there are two basic type of NFT in Wizard. There you have the Arena Genesis NFT. It's more like, they say here, partial ownership of the arena that is shared between multiple players and investors. Then you have the Wizard NFT, the in-game character with unique art and capabilities. Now, let me just explain this using what the sport we all know. Let's say football, right? So football are played in football stadium. So see the Arena Genesis NFT as the stadium itself. Just like you're owning part of the stadium, you're owning part of the seats, the stadium itself, the football pitch, the nets, the foot, the ball that is, is being played. All right. So when people come to play games in the football pitch, the football pitch generates revenue. And by holding the Genesis NFT, you are going to be getting a reward because you are more like owning a part of the football pitch, right? Then the wizard NFTs are, like I explained earlier, are like the wizard themselves, that the players now that you own. And for you to play this game, you have to own at least three of the wizard NFT. So what I would do now is just to go to um, the site and show you something. So if I go back to the site here and I go up here, you will see that that the first round, so there are going to be three rounds of the NFT sale, the Wizard um, Arena NFT sale. So this first round sold out, second round sold out, and this is a third round. Now the crazy thing is this, right? If you go down here, you see the first one and more. As a matter of fact, let me just go to this arena calculator. If I go to the arena calculator, see what I mean here. The first round, the NFTs were sold at $125. Second round, $175. And the third round that is getting sold out is one is $225. All right. If I take it to the first one and I choose one NFT, and I click on um, calculate. It's showing me um, 125 and um, monthly revenue $103. If I take the second one and I click on calculate, it shows here 175 here and 73 monthly revenue. This is just showing that if you buy earlier, you earn more, you, you spend less than money and you earn more. So you don't want to miss out this third round. Okay, so I want to explain this, the daily active player. 
So what Wizardia is trying to um, achieve or aim, what their aim is to have at least 30,000 daily active player. They can actually achieve this because there are over 3 billion active gamers worldwide. So getting 30 active players shouldn't be that, you know, difficult since the community is, is already made up of over 350 um, followers here. So if I have, if I purchase uh, one NFT in this third round for 204, let me click on calculate, for $225, I'll be getting I'll be getting fifty seven um, dollars monthly. Now, if these monthly active players increase above thirty, say to fifty thousand act daily active players, you will see that my revenue is going to increase. So the more persons that play, the more um, my revenue, my monthly revenue increases. Guys, this is an amazing way to earn passive income with. NFT. So what I would do right now is to actually go and buy the Genesis NFT. So you can buy with BNB, USDT or USDC and you can buy by just making direct transfer or clicking here to connect. Now I want to buy with, um, I want to buy with BNB. So I just click on pay with BNB. Then I will have to connect my wallet. Click on confirm. So guys, I have purchased um, the NFT. To view this NFT, I will just go to this section. You can actually get to this section from their customer support area. So to view my token now, I will have to, if you want to view my token that I purchased on my private wallet, I'll have to add this contract address, but if I want to view my um, wizard uh, NFT then I have to copy this and I go to my Metamax because that's where I purchased from the symbol is WZRD NFT I'll click on add um, custom token or import token paste the symbol here is um, w yeah and decimal it's zero you can just leave it blank you can leave it the decimal is zero you click on this so you can see i have one w um wzrd nft so with this i'll be ending that return that i talked about so this is how you um, purchase the NFT and start earning from it. The next thing is the tokenomics. Let's look at the tokenomics. So if you look at the tokenomics here, you will see that 40% um, of the total supply of the token is going to be used for reward from P to E, that is play to earning, and the staking. All right, then 18% goes to the team and advisors, 18% for marketing, 5% was sold in the seed round, 15% in the private round and 4% went to all those launch pad. Now, the tokens have vesting period, which is very good to stabilize the coin and prevent dumping. You will see that those that bought during the seed round have two months cliff. That is in the next two months, they're not going to get any token, although they're going to get 10% um, during the launch. And it will take 12 months for them to get every other thing. Private round, 11 month vesting. Um, for the community round is 20% per month. That's how they get it. For sticking, 5% um, is for the first month, 10% the second month, and 5% all through. Then for the team and advisors, they are not getting any other token in the next nine months, after which they get 10% monthly. And of course, marketing is 5% every other month. So guys, if you have purchased a token, let's click and look at the staking. You have the opportunity to actually stake this token and earn more of this token. Now, if you do that, you can click here to like enter the amount of token you want to stake. Let's say I want to stake, I want to stake 5,000 of this token. 
I can earn 31% APY from the um, staked allocation, right? I can decide to stake for eight months to earn 15% APY or um, 12 months to earn 114% APY. Now, if I stake from eight months above, you will see that I could um, win, I could win an Arena NFT, I could win a Wizard NFT when it's time to start buying that. So guys, this is the Wizardia project and the token. You can see that the project is fantastic. They have all what it takes, the right team, the right project. The game is interesting from what I've read and what, from what I've showed you. And I can actually wait to play this game. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, what you should do is to give it a like because when you give it a like, um, YouTube knows it's important and encourages me to make more of this type of videos. Also subscribe if you have not and click on that bell icon. If you have any question, just let me know in the comment section and I will leave a lot of things in the description box, both the link to their groups and everything. Make sure you check out the description box. See you guys in the next video. Bye.